Oh my god. I don't know what to say. Um. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, the reason that I want to make this video is because I've realized that obviously there's a lot of other people scheduled to get married this summer and there's a lot of other people who don't know what to do about their weddings and are unsure about um, the direction to take. And I actually belong to a couple of Facebook communities and it's just full of brides from all over and we sort of provide a sense of support for one another and we give advice and talk about our experiences and it has just helped me so much through this time to have people to relate to and that are going through the same situations as me so I kind of wanted to bring that onto my channel as well. If you don't have that yet you can reach out and I will let you know the names of the Facebook groups and you can join. Yeah that's really kind of all that I have to say about that. I'm sorry I'm so awkward. I don't know what to say honestly um but i have things to say so stick around because i'm not done yet <laughs> i started quarantine march 14th and um at that point we had left cincinnati and come back home to stay with our families we thought it would be good to get out of the city for a little bit and to just you know it was a good opportunity to spend time with family and um not be kind of isolated down there by ourselves and we didn't want to stay down there and then risk bringing the virus home so we've been here ever since and when we came in for quarantine i wasn't really concerned about my wedding because you know it was still like i think that's five months um before our wedding and i don't think that anybody knew how serious it was going to get or how it was going to play out in the united states and in individual states as well so i wasn't really concerned i was like we still have five months that's plenty of time for things to sort of settle down and get back to normal and everything will be fine. But then it got to be late April and things were not looking up. Things were still shut down. Stay at home order was extended for another month here in the state of Ohio. And so we are actually currently still on the stay at home order until the end of May. And I just started getting increasingly worried because I was like, if we're going to cancel this wedding or postpone it, um, we need to start doing that now as Ben's entire extended family is from out of town. They have to book plane tickets and also we need to let our guests know what's going on. So that's another part of me making this video is to inform my family and friends that I haven't reached out to yet about what is going on regarding our wedding. Um, so hi everyone, stay tuned. So we decided a couple weeks ago that we officially wanted to postpone our wedding until the summer of 2021. If you've ever planned a wedding before or been a part of one, you know how expensive and time consuming and how much work goes into them and um, I was just getting really nervous about, you know, I still haven't even received my wedding dress yet. I still need alterations. Uh, ben hasn't even been fitted for a tux. Um, all my bridesmaids still need to get their dresses altered and all the groomsmen still need to get their clothing as well and there's just so much that we didn't have done because pretty much everything got put on hold for you know eight weeks and that's a really long time when you start getting you know pretty close to a wedding and so I was getting increasingly worried just about family being out of town and also we have family members that are immune compromised. We have a lot of elderly people that are invited to our wedding that are very important to us and I just started to get concerned about people's safety and their comfort at our wedding and I absolutely do not want my wedding to be a breeding ground for uh, COVID. So. We decided to postpone and our new date isn't totally official yet, but um, it is scheduled right now for August of next summer. So it is over a year away and um, that actually just happened yesterday um, when I was in contact with our venue and 
so I'm still kind of processing that that you know this wedding that like we've been planning for a whole year and it's being pushed back a whole nother year like I still haven't um, come to terms with that yet but I just think that it's the best thing for us to do I think it's the safest thing for us to do at this time I know that some people are you know still doing their weddings and they're still very excited for them and I totally respect that and um, I do think that by August things will be cleared up enough to where you know you hopefully fingers crossed you guys will be able to have more than 10 people at your wedding and you can actually have you know somewhat of normalcy on your wedding day but that's just not personally what we wanted and also with so much family being from out of town and everything like that we that's just a decision that we made personally for ourselves so um if you're still having your wedding this year i will be praying for you and i pray that things clear up and that you can have the wedding that you've been dreaming of i wasn't sure if this was something that i wanted to share on my channel or not but i will be announcing it to social media so i figured that it doesn't really matter either way but ben and i are deciding to still get married this summer um we have a lot of other projects going on in the background which you guys will find out about them pretty soon i have a big plan for all of that and i'm super super excited about what's about to come up in my life and i'm really excited to share that with you guys but we have um decided that we want to get married anyways and we're just going to have a small ceremony with our intimate friends and family and that is going to be our plan so we are planning that for some time in early july so fingers crossed that we can get everything planned and scheduled for that and that it will stay according to plan. So we are basing it right now on only having a few people and, um, you know, abiding by social distancing and stuff like that. So oh, anyways, I just want to end the video with saying that I feel so blessed um, because, you know, everything that's important is okay. And... I just, I just feel very blessed because I have my friends and my family and we are all healthy and blessed and doing well. One of the comments that has been made frequently in the Facebook group is that women are feeling very guilty for being upset about their wedding and stressed out about their situations. But I personally think that right now it is a very hard time for everybody in the world and we are all being faced with our different set of challenges and um, we're all going through something so don't allow your feelings to make you feel guilty because you know weddings are something that you dream of your whole life and you put a lot of money and time and planning into it it's something that you look so forward to and so I feel like it's normal to be upset about it and that's okay but for now I just want to provide a sense of community and give out resources um, for brides who just need people to talk to or to you know explain their situations so yeah uh, that is kind of all I have to say I just wanted to update about my situation and kind of get the discussion going I would definitely keep posting and continuing my wedding series and if you guys have any questions or you do want that Facebook information, just reach out. I would love to provide those for you. And yeah, um, that's kind of all I have to say. But um, everybody's in my prayers and I'm praying for our world. And I will just see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.